Hello and welcome to FIRST Global. In this video, I will introduce you to the software tool that you will use to program your robot. Today, we will program this simple robot to be driven by this gamepad. You will access your programming environment through a web browser, such as Google Chrome. This programming environment uses blocks to represent different programming concepts. These blocks can be connected to create the functions or actions you want your robot to perform. The sidebar on the left of your screen has all of the available blocks you can use to program your robot. As you can see, there are categories for different programming concepts, as well as blocks that represent features on your robot, such as actuators and sensors. Spend some time exploring this sidebar to see what blocks are available to you. When you create a new program, which we call an op mode, a default set of blocks will appear as shown here. There are two sections, one for initialization steps that are performed prior to running your op mode, and a second section for steps that are performed during running your op mode. The first thing we're going to do is initialize your motors so your robot is not moving. We will select the set power motor block from the sidebar. The input number block can be changed to the power level you desire. We will set it to zero for initialization. We will then duplicate this block and change the selection to the right drive. Move these blocks into the initialization section. When commanding each of the motors with positive power, we want the wheels to turn in the same direction. Since the motors are mounted as mirrored images, we will set the right motor to reverse direction mode. We do this by selecting the set direction block from the DC motor side bar menu. Configure the block for the right drive and move the blocks into the initialization section. We want this gamepad to control our robot. The left and right stick will control the forward and backwards drive of the motors. Pushing the stick forward will rotate the wheel forward, and pushing the stick backwards will rotate the wheel backwards. We select the Set Power block from the DC Motor sidebar menu and the Gamepad Input block from the Gamepad sidebar menu. When you attach the Gamepad block, the value of the Gamepad stick will become the input to the Set Motor Power block. You can read blocks from left to right as Set left drive power to gamepad 1 left stick Y. Duplicate this set of blocks and change the motor power selection to the right drive and the game selection to the right stick Y direction. Place these blocks in the area below the put loop blocks here comet block. The blocks contained within this while loop will continuously run while the op mode is active. The gamepad outputs a negative number when pushing the stick forward and a positive number when the stick is pushed backwards. This is opposite of what we want, so we will have to correct for this. Use the math block to multiply the output of the gamepad stick by negative one. The input to the set motor power block will be the result of the multiplication operation. Duplicate this for the other gamepad stick. Select the Save Op Mode button and your robot has been programmed. We have shown you how to use this programming interface to accomplish a simple task. You can apply these steps to implement other functions and interact with other sensors and actuators on your robot. Have fun exploring and experimenting with the other programming blocks. For more information, please visit our website.